Welcome to J West Engineering. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the side to side bias spring tension on the rim shift performance shifter. The, uh, the tension of the springs can be adjusted while the shifter is in the car and while the upper stick is attached. Uh, it's a little bit tight getting into that rear screw with the, shift, the sh upper shifter stick in the way, so I've loosened that one up already. We take off the four, after removing the boot, we take off the four top cover screws. So I'll just finish that one off, get her out. And then the three other top screws here, we loosen those evenly using a five millimeter Allen wrench. There is some spring tension on them, so do a few turns at a time on each screw. each of those being careful not to drop it down in the shifter and then that top cover slides up and off. And then uh, if you can see here as I move the shifter left and right the springs move up and down that shows you that the spring that you're trying to adjust is opposite the direction you're moving. So the left spring is on the right and the right spring is on the left. We pull the spring up out of here. You just lift up and out. And then down in the hole, using a magnet, I could pull out the button, as I call it, that's the follower for the carrier that's down inside that actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. These will be covered in grease in your shifter that you get. I've left the grease out on this demonstration so you can see what the parts look like. But these buttons stay down inside. If you happen to accidentally pull one out with a magnet or something, it goes with a protruding button piece facing downward. But you can just leave those down inside. And if you want to make the springs stiffer, in the hardware packet that comes with the shifter, there's a set of shims, essentially thick, wa thick washers, that come inside that packet. I have a set of those over here on the table. Uh, each side can take two additional washers, but no more than two per side because the spring will then bind at full travel. So we put two, spring, two shims on each side and drop the spring down on top of it. The other thing we can do is you can do two, two, two shims one shim, no shims, or you can completely leave out the spring. And if you do that, you want to take the button out and not have it installed at all. So I'll demonstrate that. One side with a very stiff two shims and a spring, the other side no spring at all. We just put our cover back down. The bolts in place. one on the stiff side started first. And then we'll evenly tighten them down. And I'll just get this rear one started. It can be tightened down later. So now we have no spring here. If I let go, it just stays over to the side. So those two shift gates have no springing between them. 
And then we have the stiff spring over on that side. So this shows you how adjustable the wren shift is and very easy, quick to change those bias springs and tailor it for just what you want.